site. Welcome to a confronted sword site. And my name is Nana Usu. And here is called Bantama. And Bantama is part of Kumasi, where our legendary fetish priest, priest Anochi. Priest in Akan, we said of Konfu, so of Konfu Anochi. Hence, Priest Anochi. Planted a sword over 323 years now. And nobody has been able to pull this one out. Because it didn't plant a sword here to throw challenges or to pull it out. But it is here purposely for the unity in Asante Kingdom here and where Asante began. And where he stood and conjoined the golden stool from the sky. So, right here? Yeah, he stood here and conjoined the golden stool. And that's a portrait of the golden stool. Mm. And a portrait. Yeah. And this is the sword? And that's a sword. That's over 300 years old? Yeah, 323 years. That's 1695. 1695? Yeah. 1695 when um, the Asante Kingdom came yes, to power. Yes, yes. So the Asante Kingdom got their independence in 1695. So that's 17th century. Yeah. So what is this? This one? Mm -hmm. that, uh, they call this one Hexk. They use this one to invoke, to call ancestors. Okay. But this one is not for him, the fetish priest. Okay. But we perform rituals here, you pull a here. And it's done by the king of Asante. That's why I had the bottles in there. So when the king comes here, it's a randomly performation of that, that ritual. So when he comes here, he sits on this stool, the modu stool. So this stool, no one is allowed to sit on that, except the king of Asante, who two, four, or city to the second. Now tell me what kingdoms came, what kingdoms came together under, under the Asante in 1695? You see, and there were 11 kings, those who came together to form the Asantes. So these living kings are these people. A devil took place like this. And these people sitting there are those who are conquered by a state called a uh, Dencha state. And Dencha people are found in central region. Because in the olden days, when this sword was planted here, there is no Asante. By that time, we are all Akans. A state with a parliament chiefs. So if one state won power, we have to go to war and conquer. So one of the state among them called the Inchira, they became powerful because anytime they range war, they defeat others. And because of their powers, they try to set aside the work, and they will order the conquered state to send them some items every 42 days. And anytime those conquered states found themselves on the Inchira land, the Inchira people gave them bad treatment. So that time, the legendary fetish priest, Okon Fonoche, he was a chief at a state called Aguna State. And Aguna is the one of the state in the Asante Kingdom here. So he was part of them. So all the kings on the conquered state, they all gathered here like this. They met on this land purposely to find solution to their problems or retaliate what the entire state they are doing to them. So the fetish priest or Konfanchi, he told them that before they can conquer the entire state, they have to join together so that they can get a united body in range against them. So all the kings agreed. He told them that while they agree for war, every war there is a leader. And because they were kings, he said he can't choose the leader by himself. So that's the reason why he stood in the middle of the people like this. And he invoked the gods. He called ancestors. And the gods gave him a stool called the golden stool from the sky. He told them that the one the golden stool will land on his lap, that person will be their leader. So the golden stool landed on the lap of King Osir to the first. So he became the leader among all the kings, or the choosing one by the ancestors. And that is a big picture of the first king, the one who God used to land on his side with two forces to the first. And in Akan state here, every king has a stool, a stool like this. And we call that to the black stools. That gave them power to become a king. So because they were kings when they came, they came along with their stools, those people. So our conversion told them that they are not going to serve the stool that they brought here again. But they all serve the golden stool the gods are giving to them. So they all agreed. So those kings, those who gathered here, part of their hair, part of their fingernails were cut and burned them to ashes by the legendary fetish priest of Konfanchi. He adds from the ashes into a palm wine. I hope you know palm wine. It's a local drink from a palm tree. He adds some of the ashes into that wine for them to drink as a covenant. And the rest of the ashes 
he collected all their blasts to that he came, their stews, and buried all their stews here. Here? Yes. Before he planted a sword on the top of the stews. And he told them that if someone comes here for his stew that he had buried here, the unity that he had, he will be no more. And before he can take your stew from the ground, he had to pull the sword out. Because all the stews are buried under the sword. And from there he made a prophecy that it will be a time if you are sick and you find yourself here with your sickness and you don't get healing or you don't get medicine, it will be a problem for you in this world. He made another prophecy that it will be a time. This land, some people will come here. At the same time, some people will go from here. Meaning some people will die here. At the same time, some people will be born here. And he prophesied in 1695. And the prophecy came true over 200 years by that 1950s. Where a company from Europe called G. Walker and Slater Company. A contract was awarded to that company by a public health department to build a hospital for us. So when they came and surveyed this land, and this is very rich or good for them to build a hospital, they tried to create a land, build this hospital in the 1950s. So during the construction of the hospital, they came across the sword here. They thought it was gold. Because in the olden days, they used gold as a currency. That time they called their gold coast, not Ghana. And that time today they don't have banks. So some people kept their money at home, others buried them and used symbols on it for their near future. So when they saw this one, they thought some of them gold here with a symbol. So they have to take it off. When they are digging the ground, instead of sword to show up, it was going down or sinking. So they came with machines. The sword became invisible. So they took that opportunity to excavate every place where they can find by the cooling front again. Later on, the sword appears. So when they came back and found out that the sword is there, they tried to spread the message across the nation, across the whole world. A lot of people heard what is happening here and showed they are trying to pull it out. Including the late heavenly boss called Muhammad Ali or Kasho Sle. He came in 1964 to show his son, but he couldn't. And that time we have one Ghanaian boxer called Jack Tola. He went for charm or did you from a powerful man to spend here? He spent one week but couldn't put a sword out. Because the sword was not planted to pull it out or to throw challenges. But it is here purposely for the unity in Asante Kingdom here and where Asante began. And where he stood and conjoined the golden stew from the sky. When I said where Asante began, I said before the sword was put in here, there's no Asante. By that time, we are all Akans. But those kings, these people, these gathered here, those people became Asantes. They became Asantes from the time they joined together. And they joined together purposely to range war. And war in our language or in Akan, we said Esa. So their fellow Akans, Normally call them a sent for, hence because of war. It's because of war all these people came together. So we get the word asante for from the word a sent for, meaning because of war. That is meaning of asante, because of war. You have any question? You can ask. Um, hmm. You covered everything. <laughs> um, so how many clans are under the um, Asante? We are eight clans. Eight clans? Yes. Who are they? We have Oyokwo, Adiana, uh, Agona, Bretuo, uh, Asachiri, and God the rest. But I will, make, I, will show, I, will, I will tell everything before you leave here. So it was here that yes. Asante for? Yes. Called the and here, right here. This the 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 debat here, the debat this place yeah. took place here. Right here. Everything happened on this land. Wow. Yes. The same day the golden suit came and the sword was planted. The same day okay. everything wow. done. Alright, thank you. I don't think there's anything else. <laughs>